Malaysia is baru. You know, but we have some old actors in Malaysia, baru. So, you know, we are hoping very much that, that, that the old in the Malaysia baru uh, will not be perpetuating you know, the old behaviour. Because people must be made to realise that parliament is so important that you, you cannot tolerate obscenity, pasal malam, whatever. So we can't tolerate, particularly in an Asian setting. Mm -hmm. Not on. Yeah, it's no respect for ladies, no respect for school children, you know, might be part of the public gallery. Uh, maybe they don't realize it at the time words of uh, such nature are spoken. Mm -hmm. yeah? It involves a change in parliamentary behavior. Uh -huh. uh, this is the thing which I've been saying mm -hmm. to so many media uh, people. Mm -hmm that it's not merely enough to change institutions internally yeah, or the constitution. You have to change the culture, mm -hmm. um, the parliamentary culture. Mm -hmm. uh, that's human behaviour. You will notice that after the uh, ruling, mm -hmm. uh, people have been very well behaved. Yeah? Uh, even <laughs> those from the government side have been very polite and careful. Huh? I suppose very difficult to change a person's behaviour. You know, you're, you're living in your own comfort zone, you think whatever you've been doing so far you know, mm -hmm. is the best. What they, what they, I do not know like, what their motives are. Mm -hmm. um, but they have to realise that we have to restore the dignity of parliament. Mm -hmm. you know? Or rather, if it's, we have the dignity of parliament, we have to improve the level mm -hmm. of dignity that we have achieved so far. Because some people were saying that you were not stern enough. Mm. Anyone would know what mm. Bo Mukta did. It's mm. wrong. Mm. He doesn't need mm. to retract that's wrong and he, mm. it should be immediate suspension. So people felt that, you know, you mm. could have been sterner. If uh, that is people the from the outside will only look at, uh, you know, whatever is being telecast. Uh, by the reaction to whatever you hear mm -hmm. has to be seen in totality. Eh? Eh? Mm -hmm. So one has to take the most appropriate action at that time. Mm -hmm. So at that time, the decision was, there was a retraction, an apology, so it was thought that that would be sufficient. Mm -hmm. But it came back to me and I said, we'll better make it clear. Mm -hmm. All right. There are certain situations where a simple retraction will not be enough. So if you say it again, you're out. Mm. You have to do it stage by stage. You know, it can be so you not so simple. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Your policies must be driven by by intellect. Huh? Yeah? You cannot be reactive. Ah, because we have a problem, we must have this law. You don't think through the law. Yeah, like what we're discussing now, the anti-fake news. That was rushed through. Hmm? Okay. Because, you know, for too long, mm -hmm. policies and drafting are decided either by the relevant ministries mm -hmm. yeah, and AGC. Mm -hmm. And that's reality. Right? Mm -hmm. There is very little public input. Mm -hmm. The public input and outcry will come after the event. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not good. Yeah. In a mature system, it shouldn't happen.